What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we kick off the gauntlet series for the JBL Tour Pro 2s. Love that screen. Their first opponent, and we're diving right into the deep end. We're going to start off with the Sony WF-1000XM4s. All right, this should be a really good head-to-head -head and gauntlet series because, like I said, we're in deep water from the start to finish. So you know what we do. Let's get to it. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in and talk price and specs. We'll start off with the Sony WF-1000XM4s. They came in at a price of $279. Uh, you can get these uh, at a cheaper price, especially with the XM5s right around the corner. Um, but I did also did still see them at their at that current price of two seventy nine. Uh, as always, I'll leave links in the description for both of these earbuds uh, where you can get pricing on on both of them. As far as Bluetooth version, this one rocks Bluetooth five point two with codec support for AAC, SBC, and LDAC. Noise canceling on these is uh, one of the best in the industry outside of the uh, Bose line. And of course, with uh, the battery life, you with the earbuds, you get eight hours with noise canceling turned on, 12 hours with noise canceling turned off. And if you add the case, you can get up to 24 hours of playback time. So good to last you all day. They do support quick charge. Five minutes will get you an hour of playback time. And the case itself uh, supports wireless charging. The earbuds are rated at IPX4 water resistance. So having them at the gym, and uh, getting caught in the rain is not a problem. As far as special features, they do support a fast pair. They did have a recent update that given has given them multi-point connectivity, so that's very huge. And of course, they have one of the industry's best apps for app support. All right, now moving on over to the new kid on the block, the JBL Tour Pro 2s. They come in at 249 bucks. Uh, again, as always, like I said before, I'll leave links in the description for pricing and where to buy. And of course, with Bluetooth version, they are rocking Bluetooth 5.3 with codec support of SBC, AAC, LC3, and LC3+. Plus. So you do have some uh, high-end uh, codec there, high-def codec rather. Noise canceling, they do have a true adaptive noise canceling system with ambient aware and talk through. Uh, basically, I think ambient aware and talk through are the exact same thing, but they have them labeled as something totally different. As far as battery life, with noise canceling on, excuse me, with noise canceling turned off, you can get up to 10 hours. With noise canceling turned on, you can get up to eight hours. Now, if you in include in the case and noise canceling turned off, you can get up to 30 hours. With noise canceling turned on with the case, you can get up to 24 hours. Uh, the case does support fast charging. 15 minutes will get you four hours of playback time, which is very impressive. And, of course, the case supports wireless charging. As far as uh, water resistance, uh, the, uh, the earbuds themselves are rated at IPX5. And when you, again, get caught in the rain, had in the gym, no problems there. Of course, of course uh, well, you talk about special features. I'm fumbling over my words here for some reason. Special features here will get you, uh, they have a spatial audio feature via their JBL spatial sound software. They have a personalized sound uh, via their Personify 2.0 software also integrated into the app. They have multi-point connectivity. They have app support. And of course, that the touch screen, as you can see here, very, one of the first earbuds out that offer uh, touch uh, touch controls uh, with the earbud, with the uh, touch controls with the, the case. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm lost for words here. All right, so again, both of them well-specced out. Got some good battery life on both of them. Let's continue. All right, let's go ahead and take one of each of these guys out so we can compare and contrast. Obviously, you can tell they're two totally different form factors. The uh, XM4s go in as with a more of an in-ear style, or as the, the Tor Pro 2s are more of a stem style. As you can see here, uh, both of them looking rather a little chunky on the top end. Uh, obviously, the XM4s are a little bit thicker. Uh, and you take a look. I do like the matte finish of the XM4s. This is, honestly, this is my favorite Airbud to wear. Uh, a lot of... 
Some people out there complain about the size of them and everything like that. I really enjoy wearing these long term and everything. I just think they feel very comfortable in my ears. Uh, I, I really enjoy having these and these are my favorite ones to wear um, uh, long term. Um, okay, so again, a very let's go ahead and look at this one. A very nice round surface area, nice space where you can actuate controls. I like the matte finish on it, like I said, with the uh, gold or bronze, if you will, uh, touch to it. A uh, little accents and everything with the labeling, accent around the noise canceling mic, uh, mic there, around the noise canceling mic here. Nicely done. Again, just a very well done earbud. Uh, total, you know, a total transformation from the XM3 when these first came out. Uh, but then a very comfortable earbud to wear. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Tor Pro 2s. Again, stem style. You got the gloss around the tip where your noise canceling mic is. You got the you got the uh, mat up here on the touch surface. JBL branding. Very nicely done. Then we break back up into the smoky gloss area uh, portion. And then, of course, on the inside that goes into your ear it's all matte and rubber, like not rubberized, but smooth, uh, matte finish. Uh, of course, with both ear tips, I'm going with the spin fit. Uh, these are the CP 1025s on the JBLs, and of course, the CP 360s on the XM4s. Uh, I do like they very comfortable. I get great seal on them. Uh, try them out if you get a chance. And let me know in the comments section. All right. Again, very comfortable ear buds to both of them, even though they're two totally different form factors. Uh, very small, not small, uh, not the smallest, uh, especially with the XM4s. They're a little chunky going outside, going out of the ear. But once you sit these in, they are real comfortable. Uh, again, with the JBLs, they are, once you sit these guys in, because of this portion sits into the ear well. And then, of course, into your ear canal. They're, they're very discreet once you get these in. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my phone. Let's put these back in. And then I'm going to show you how these guys look in the air. We'll start off with the XM4s. All right, let's throw in with the XM4s. Let me get that out the way. As you can see, it takes up all the air well. Once you get, once you get it seated and twisted in, it completely fills up the entire ear, ear, ear well, rather. And, of course, the ear canal. Again, a great comfortable fit. I got one of, Like I said, the my favorite ones to wear. I have no problem putting these guys in and going all day. Uh, again, great, great feel, fit and feel to me. Um, obviously, people's ears are different. But, again, I have had these in, you know, for long at work many a times and here at home many a time since I've had them. Uh, great fit. I never had a problem with ear, feet, ear fatigue or uh, pressure in the canal. So the weight is distributed lovely. And I never had a problem with them at all. Very, very comfortable earbuds to wear. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Tor Pro 2s. All right. And here we are with the Tor Pro 2s. Again, doesn't take up a lot of the ear well, um, but you do get a good, Custom, good, clean fit on it. Fits real nice with the short uh, stem here that goes down. Uh, you want to get locked and twisted into place. They do not move. Uh, you ain't got to worry about them falling out or, or or having to even adjust them. I haven't had to like readjust these ear tips or the earbuds after having them in a long time. You know how you do the, the open of your mouth or raise your eyebrows, you know, high where. It, you know, some earbuds will come will loosen up as far as their uh as far as their uh seal. I never had that problem with them. Not saying that it won't happen. I know some people may experience it, but I haven't as of yet. So these are very comfortable uh to wear long term. I really enjoy having these in and I do I have no problem with them at all. Okay. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and run through all of our other comparison testing. And then we'll come back with the sound test. Stay strapped in. This is a mic test with the JBL Tor Pro 2s in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the JBL Tor Pro 2s in a quiet location.
This is a mic test with the JBL 442 in a private location. This is a mic test with the JBL 442 in a private location. This is a mic test with the Sony WF 1000 XM4s in a semi quiet location. This is a mic test with the Sony WF 1000 XM4s in a semi quiet location. This is a mic test with the Sony WF 1000 XM4s in a product location. This is a mic test with the Sony WF 1000 XM4s in a product location. All right, we're outside. We're doing a noise canceling test for the JBL Tour Pro 2s. Uh, I got the in, in the air, as you can see. We got some good audio coming back and forth with with traffic and everything. All right, um, and the funny thing is, I'm going to use the case on this one. Let's go ahead and unlock. As you can see here on the case, I have it in ambient mode. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and right now, I can hear everything, sounds pretty good. So right now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to noise canceling. All right, I got noise canceling turned on. And I have to admit, some of my ambient sound disappeared. <laughs> But I do get pretty good. I do got some just regular ambient sound going on. Uh, not a lot of heavy traffic right now. But it's a decent noise canceling uh, for these earbuds. Uh, I'm, I, I, I like it. I like it. It's a nice, good sound. All right, just got to see. Just had a car cargo pass me. I barely heard it, um, which is what I like. Again... The, this is done without any uh, ANC, any music playing, rather. Not ANC, any music playing. So this is strictly doing the strength of the ANC itself. All right? So, again, this has been ANC test for the JBL Tour Pro 2s. Very good. Decent. And I love the fact that you can use it you can operate it on a case. That's a sweet touch. All right, now we have the uh, Sony WF-1000 XM4s in the air. We are still walking uh, in the neighborhood. We got good wind, we got good traffic, sound. So uh, right now we're in the app and we have it on ambient. <clears throat> so what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and we're gonna switch it to uh, sound uh, noise canceling. <laughs> All right, we're in noise canceling, and it literally sounds like the world just shut off. I, I I can see vehicles behind me. Let me pull them behind me. As you can see, the cars riding past. I can see them, but I could barely hear them. These guys are on the level, uh, or close to the level of the uh, Bose Quiet Comfort Twos. The noise canceling on these guys is fantastic. All right, I know people mark about the sound uh, when they're playing audio, but you can't knock the uh, noise canceling in these guys. These are fantastic. Again, we got wind now on top of the uh, ambient sound from the automobiles, and you can't, you won't even notice. Again, another dangerous pair of earbuds to wear out in public uh, without your head being on the swivel. All right, so these is, this was a ANC test for the Sony WF-1000 XM4s. One of the best in the business. Let's go to the next. We are back in for the sound test. We're gonna start off with the XM4s. and are gonna let them kick off this one. So what we wanna do now is we're gonna go in. We are already connected to the ear. We are connected to the, app, to the phone. As you can see there, Ron's XM4s. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead in and we're gonna make sure that we turn, make sure we turn everything, you know, give them the best thing. We're gonna turn everything to LDAC here. We're gonna make sure that LDAC is available uh, for the XM4s. We're gonna do that right now. Oh, God, I messed it up. I think I messed it up. Let me back up. <laughs> I think I did. There we go. All right, here we go. All right, we'll turn the Kodak to LDAC. 
All right. Now, some will say I should change the uh, the hertz, but I'm not worried about that because I usually get the sound that I want, even when I switch to LDAC. So we're not going to do that there. All right. So what we're going to do next is we'll go ahead and jump into the Sony app. I should have done this off camera and had it ready, but I didn't. So we're doing it here. <laughs> All right. Okay, 360 audio, got something going on. All right. So what we're going to do now is we'll go into it. We'll go into the sound. First off, we're going to make sure that we are in noise canceling mode because that's how I like to listen to my, my music. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead down into my apps. Well, not apps, but the equalizer. All right, let's go in here. That's my equalizer setting. And I have the the bass boost at zero. You know, we're going to keep it there. We're going to split screen this off. We're going to jump into our music. All right. First song up the bat, you know how we do. I don't know why I'm holding the pen. Old money. Let's make sure we at our optimum listening level first. All right, we're there. All right, now let's go. All right, you know, remember we're in LDAC. So we're in LDAC right now. So, and we're using my, uh, Equalizer settings. And I have to tell you, vocals are coming through real nice and clear. Real clean. You got the piano in the back. Sounding clean. All right. And in comes the string instruments. Nice sound stage. Really, really, really clean sounding. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's see what we got here with this chorus. Okay. Now it's sounding nice there. Good sound. Very, very good. Very good. All right. That's a, it's a very good sound. Nice sound stage. Uh, you got clean vocals from the, from the lead singer. The chorus came in. It bright. It brightened up everything. It was really very nice. Uh, very nice sound in here. All right. So. What we're going to go is we're going to go ahead and, whoops, we're going to go ahead and jump into Gosh. That's our bass test song, my uh, official bass test song for my channel. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, this is where they, this is where they live. Oh, that bass is powerful. Woo. That's one thing you got to worry about when it comes to Sony uh headphones sony earbuds is their bass it comes to play Ooh, got that reverberate reverberating oh so good here we go Ooh. and it's it's a clean bass it's uh, it sounds so good because it's so clean and the vocals are coming through okay sound good Oh man. It's almost like sitting in, in, in uh when someone got their, their car done right with the sound system and sitting in the back seat. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. That's, that's that, that sounds so good. I'm sorry. Allergies are kicking in. 
Uh, all right, let's go ahead. I could let's go ahead and jump into going home. Man, that thumped. That really did thump. All right, here we go. Again, the bass, the sub bass from the keyboard, and you got the drums. It's coming through. Very nice sound. Here we go. Okay. All right, saxophones coming in, sounding sounding crisp. Sounding real nice, real crisp, real clean. And the background sound, background instruments, nice wide open sound stage. Here's a high note. Oh, it hits it, but doesn't come through as sharp as I hope. But still, very good sounding. And you get the, the warmth from the bass on it in this song, too, with these earbuds. Man, so good. So good. All right. Man, that, that sound really good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to save my overalls for the uh, final thoughts. But what we want to do next is we're going to go ahead and get these swapped out. And we have the Tour Pro 2s run the sound test. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in. We got the JBL Tour Pro 2s paired up and in the air. We're going to go ahead and make sure that we are set to go into... Right now we have an ambient noise, as you can see by the touch control, the touch panel on the case. We're going to use that in conjunction with the app here so we can make sure that we're getting the best sound possible. We'll go ahead and pump these back and put these in the ANC mode. All right, noise canceling has officially been turned on and I could definitely tell the difference. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and as you can see, we're in a custom EQ setting there. So everything is everything. All right. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and we'll start off with, we're actually make sure we are in our optimal listening level. Yep. We are there. Okay. We'll go ahead and start off with, with old money. Let's go. All right. Vocals are nice, clean. Seem like they're pushed forward a little bit more than the piano. Very clear. Okay. The piano is sounding nice and clean. Nice. All right, now we're opening out the sound stage. All right, here we nice, nice, why it opened up nicely, but then you have the then you have the other string instruments and everything, so it sounded really good. Now we got the vocal, now we got the chorus and everything. Now you got that that 3D feel to you, it's like every they're all around you. Sounds really clean. Oh, sounds real, real clean. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and switch out. We're going to go to our bass song. That was a real clean sound uh, that we had there. You got uh, the space, you know, the brightened up, it, not brightened, but it widened out the sound stage. And then, of course, you had that 3D effect. I had it anyway. Um, that 3D almost like 3D feel, that spatial audio feel. And I don't even think I had spatial audio turned on. Let me see. Do I have spatial audio? Nope. I didn't even have spatial audio turned on um, in that song, but you got that even uh, better feel to it. Let's go ahead. You know, let's go ahead. We're going to give it all. Spatial audio. We're going to turn it to music. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and add that into it because. 
Everybody said we want it turned all the way up to the best possible levels. We had LDAC for um, for the XM4s. So we're going to go ahead and put spatial audio on for, <clears throat> excuse me, for the JBL. So let's keep it moving there. I missed out I, I, I missed out on the first song, but we're going to keep it on the other two. So here we go. Let's go with my bass test. Gosh, let's do it. Ooh. Okay. All right, sounding sounding nice. I just wish it was a little bit more powerful. But it is hitting. Uh, get that reverb though. It's just not. It sounds good. I just wish it was a little bit more. I'm sorry about the dead air right there. I was just focusing on the bass. Woo. Now that hit. There we go. Okay. All right. It, it hit at the first, at the beginning, I wasn't getting what I was expecting. Then all of a sudden, boom, it kicked in. It sound, it sounds good. I mean, that vase, that I love that bass. I love it. Uh, just that, the way it reverbs and everything through it, you know, you just feel it all through your head. It sounds so good. All right, so what we're going to do next is, next up, going home. Let's get it. All right. Now you, you, you feel like you got it all, the music is all around you. Sounds really good. The saxophones coming in really Real clean, real crisp. Great sound stage with the back, nice wide open background. Mr. Mrs. Got that little light rumble in there. He makes the song warm, keeps it warm. Very nice. Oh, the high note, the high note. Sound good, sharp. Oh, just a really nice sound, man. Oh, so clean. Oh, sounds so good. All right, again, nice clean sound there from the going home on the instrumental song. That saxophone was nice and crisp and it got real sharp when it hit the high note which i love and it just just a great great overall sound all right so what we're going to do is we're going to get this cleaned up and i'm going to come back with my final thoughts on the opening uh episode of the gauntlet series for the tour pro twos stay strapped in all right we are back in with my final thoughts on episode one uh of the gauntlet series for the tour pro twos and their opponent the Sony WXM, uh, WF 1000 XM4s. I got it all mixed up there. <laughs> Don't mind me. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I'm getting allergies, man. All right. So, bottom line is they both came in. They both sound really good. If I had to uh, parse away, I would give uh, the bass. I would definitely give that win to the Sony's. Their bass was a lot, was more powerful uh, overall. But if I go on overall, if I give sound quality as far as vocals, instruments, I would have to go with the JBL Tour Pro 2s in that instance. So bear in mind, with all that being said, uh, the win, I, in my opinion, the winner of this one, 
would be the JBL Tour Pro 2s. They have a better overall sound um, when compared to the XM4s. And that's a shame because, like I said, this is my favorite pair to wear. But I'm being 100% honest here. The, X, the uh, Tour Pro 2s get the win. All right. They have a better overall sound, although some of the XM4s have a much, has a better bass uh, sound than, than the, uh, the Tour Pro 2s. But just bass alone doesn't, uh, will not, doesn't cut it, basically. We got to have good overall sound as well. And this is one of my personal EQ settings. Now, uh, again, these guys are a couple years old, and we know that the XM5s are right around the corner, but still, these are a quality earbud, especially now that they added a uh, multi point uh, to them, breathes new life into these earbuds. I definitely, if you haven't tried, go ahead and give it a shot, or um, I just say give it a shot either way. These are definitely uh, uh, great earbuds, and their noise canceling is second to none out, um, outside of the Bose line. But other than that, uh, they're 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 a great pair of earbuds. And like I said, with that update, multi point puts them up there as far as one of the more higher usable ones, in my opinion. All right, but definitely the JBLs come through with the more complete sound on this one. They get the win. In my opinion, uh, but I would like to see some. Uh, I would like to see some kind of update where you get better bass out of them uh, overall. I mean, the bass is there, but when you put them up against a bass monster, you can definitely tell the difference. All right. Again, this has been episode one of the Gauntlet series for the JBL Tour Pro Twos. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to join me as I continue to do this Gauntlet series and other ones as far and other videos. Hit the subscribe button and hit notification bell. That way you're notified when these videos drop. Again, I'd like to thank you guys for coming out, checking me out, and I will see you on the next one. Oh, by the way, I will be doing another live stream Sunday. That's right, Father's Day evening, Father's Day night, 10 o'clock. We'll be on, and I'll be dropping my top five earbuds of first half of 2023. So that way you guys can tune in. I know I've been getting a lot of people asking me who are my top three. I'm going to give you my top five. I might even change that and give you 10. I'm not sure yet, but definitely you're getting top. You're getting the top five in that live stream. So be sure to uh, make sure you're subscribed and you're on the lookout uh, for that uh, live stream. Like I said, it'll be Father's Day evening, 10 a.m. 10 p.m. Excuse me. That way you guys can go ahead and we can all get together and we can, uh, I can give you my list and then we can mix and match and, and see if we are on the same page or not. It'll all be a lot of fun. Again, thanks for coming out and I'll see you on the next one. Tour Pro 2s get the win coming out to shoot. Talk to you later. Peace.